Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Snake Rattle and Roll for the NES. This was a game that I streamed a while back, and I can only make it as far as stage 7, because... It's a bit of a puzzle platform with isometrics, so, uh... Good luck to you, because our Rare was involved in it. And we all know... That, uh, old school Rare, huh, They did not mess around. So basically, you're a snake, and your goal is to get to the exit of the level. And sometimes that involves, uh, getting a lot of those, uh, bumbly dumblies or whatever they're called. And once you have, like, ow, once you have enough, you should be able to finish the level. And how do you tell if you had enough? Look at your tail. If it starts glowing yellow, that should tell you you have enough. Maybe we can find some other secrets in there too if we want to. I even found a bonus right here. So some of these like orbs that you gotta eat, they do kind of alter their behavior for each level. Oh god, there's the Monty Python foot. So, some of them could also be bombs, you gotta watch out for that. So the blue orbs are worth one. That's only if you're rattle. If you're... If you're roll, the blue ones are worth two. The best ones you want are the yellow ones. So I think they're worth three points. And once you get to like four points, it adds another part of your body. So, use that to your advantage. Ah, damn it. Wouldn't let me jump for some reason. When you get those diamonds, they make you invincible. And that... That what looks like a tuning fork is actually your uh, tongue extender, and you'll be using that for sure. Because some levels don't mess around. There we go. I think I have enough. The real tricky part is, like, paying attention to, like, where you're actually going. Because you can't just hold diagonally to move diagonally. Like, if I hold up, I'm going this way to the northeast. And sometimes you're going to have to be, like, doing this kind of jumping. I'm just going to mulligan that, because you can fall off the edge. I'm gonna be safe staying and rewinding a lot, I promise you that, because this game is tough. Like, it don't seem that tough now, but, uh, don't you worry, it'll get there. Oh god, it looks like toilet seats there. I think it's not an extra life there, I want it. I think if you're holding B, it makes it easier to fight the currents. Oh, I want that. Oh god, the Bumbly's got feet. If I remember correctly, I think the giant floating head is a continue. I was gonna watch it, because some of these uh, panels down there could have traps. Like some of the items are also traps too. What? I hit the jump button game. Good thing I have invincibility, so the blades are no issue. Do I have enough? No, I don't have enough yet. Oh, 
Oh, shoot, that was close. I almost fell off. Oh god, there are both bombs? That's lame. Okay, now we have enough. Okay, can't get to the door yet, obviously. I also gotta watch out, because there's a time limit there, too. Yeah, am I even going the right way? Yes, I am. Oh, shit! Careful, you gotta attack them the Quentin Tarantino way. <laughs> and that's how you get through level three. There's gonna be some levels where you don't really need to hit, like, a, a, you know, like, a weighing panel. Like, you just go to the door. That's, like, in the later stages. Oh, that was a trap. So even if you think you're getting something like an extra life, you might not be. Oh, that one behaved differently. Guess we'll just hang around here for a while. Oh, some of these are going splat. Wait. Oh, that's actually attacking me. Okay, it's gone now. So if they go splat, you know they're real. Oh. Ah, oh, why did that one have to go boom? Yellow would have been such a good one to have. Just to make sure I eat enough of them. Okay, I got enough. Oh shoot, where do I go now? Not there! tricky from here. And this is a slight tell where the blades are gonna pop up. Like around these, uh, blue pillars. Uh, do I go up here? I guess so. Okay, we're making it somehow. Ooh, extra time. Oh god, the anvils. I think they're instant death. Fun fact, you can actually trick that yellow anvil to actually land right on the weighing panel. And that will open it for you. Oy. Yeah, you can't even fall too far down. Because that will count as a death as well. Trust me, I'm not that great at this game. This is the only way I'm going to get through it. Trust me. Because my mind cannot parse, like, this kind of, you know, isometrics very well. Oh man, that's a tease. Okay. Let's just get one of them. Yeah, is there a trick to this? Yeah! I can actually skip one carpet section. I'm gonna wait for that to run out. Because that just reverses your controls. Okay, it's gone out. And you know what the worst part of that? You can't even tell when it expires until you move. It's 
kind of a mean thing to do. <laughs> really? I almost got enough. Okay, now I have enough. Oh, can't use that trick. You have to use the carpet. It's even more of a pain to even know, like, if you're even there. Ah, you... You fart. Okay, at least that wasn't a bomb. I think I'll look at them flashing. Okay, I have enough again. Oh, shit. You're gonna give this to me now? Oh, I thought I jumped over it. I didn't do it. So those will actually push you out. Okay, now we get to this part. Okay, I thought I got hurt there. No! I did get hurt there. See, what you have to do... You have to jump at exactly the right time. And that's how you get through. Okay, and that's stage five. Okay, we're almost at my PB. Now for stage six. Right. Ah, fudge. Wait, why wasn't it letting me just... I couldn't jump. Guess I had to do it like this, huh? You got these damn bells. Ah, oh, I don't want to take a hit there. Someone might have to just jump over. Oh, I can bounce on him. Just hit the very corner. You can avoid, uh, you know, colliding with them. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it. I think I made it. You know, I don't know why this area is a pain in the ass. There's one specific item you need. And you wouldn't know it because you've never seen that item before. Until then. It's what looks like fish fins. Are you kidding me? Okay, I don't know if it- how long it lasts, though. So maybe you have to get it and then get up that waterfall within a few seconds? Actually, I don't think it- okay, it does keep showing up. Let me see- let me see if it's still active. Yeah, it is! You just have to keep- Mashing A and B, so you can get up there. Uh, 
Okay, I made it. I died! No, I didn't. Excuse me? Yeah, don't touch the tips of those pillars, because that'll kill you, too. I'm just gonna ignore that foot and just go. What? I thought I could make that. Now I made it. And just jump back in immediately. There we go. Now we're at the level that I couldn't beat. You got a whole bunch of metal horns that keep popping up. Okay, they're just there to make things painful for ya. That was my fault. I'll own up to that by, you know, undoing my mistake as if it never happened. Oh, I thought I could just get past it. Nope! Can't even do it like that. Alright. Undo it before I even got there. I'm just trying to avoid uh, wasting too much time. I don't think that continue is worth it, but the time is... Uh-oh. Oh, come on! I was... I wasn't on it! Oh, well, game says I was, so guess what? Game takes priority. And I heard that the later levels are somewhat worse. Actually, I think the one right after this one ain't too bad. It has its own gimmick. What? I tapped one little pixel and that's all it took. Okay, at least I can hit it from here. It just doesn't look like I can. Excuse me? I jumped too far. Oh, come on! Is it getting its health back? I think it was. Oops. Ah! You fucker. You know what, just take the death and go. Ah, uh, take this one too. At least they fall in the same place. Oh, right, this part. See, here you gotta let the water just send you upward. But you gotta pay attention to where the ripples are so you can actually get up there. You gotta do it just right. Ah, you... That's a cheap shot the game knows it. Okay, now I made it back. Oh my god. You just gotta hope it's there. Oh, now it goes there. Okay, I made it. I think I should still have enough time.
up. Oh, come on! The very same frame. What a psychotic prank. Trying to I'm trying to beat back this tree. Okay, this one might be a bit tricky. Uh, the other time it's just right. Come on! Also, I'm not liking the amount of time I have. Oh, man, I went too far. Oh, you fart! Another one! Get out of here. Lost a few lives, but it's okay. Now for stage eight. This one, you actually have to fall in the water on purpose. Okay, now you gotta make sure you get enough of these. And once your tail is glowing, you can get out. They do swim away after a while, and then you can't get them anymore. So as soon as your tail glows, just get out. And then do it again. We're gonna have to pay attention to the shadows so you can get them. Don't go too far, like, off to the bottom, because you can actually fall to your death. Even though you can just keep swimming indefinitely, Outer Bounds will still kill you. Okay, just go. Just listen for the noise! No, I didn't mean to do that! Right on the corner, too. Wanted to get the timer. Yeah, I'm cheesing my way through this game. I'm not being this game any other way. I'll admit that. Unfortunately, if you hear the button mashing, I can't use turbo on this. All we'll do is just, like, keep his mouth open and not do anything. Like, there are some games that even though I have turbo features enabled, they don't function the same way as they should. And that's just how it is. I just want to get that extra life. No, oh, get through. Why did I get stuck on that side? Okay. So I need to get onto this lake, but I wanted to get the extra time. Oh, another target extension. Oh, don't don't stand on the the pyramids. That's bad news. Okay, we're good. 
See, that level was not too bad. But we're not done yet. There is more. Look at that massive amount of points. Hey, uh, you, you like ice physics in this kind of game? Well, too bad. You, you, you're dealing with it now. I think I can use a shortcut. Ah, can't make it. So we'll have to go the long way. Oh shit, that was close. Ah! Oh my god. I'm facing one way and you still slip all the way out. Sometimes you have to hold two directions at once. So yeah. What the fuck? Ah, oh, I want to see if I can make that jump. That one is what I wanted to make. Oh, I almost made it. Oh, so you have to face the opposite direction. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Oh no, you have to get these. And they fly a- oh my fuck! Why are they all down there? Also, I don't think it can kill this foot. Fuck! Of course it's a bomb. Oh, why do some of them have to be off screen? That makes it worse. I have to despawn them. Oh, how did that not hit me? Nice little mysteries, I suppose. Why? I was... Oh. I feel like it's this enemy that's making it harder to do jumps. Is it truly invincible? I feel like it is. enough time to get them all. This might be the part I hate the most. It just keeps giving me the blue ones. Just give me a red one that I can eat. And of course, both of them get away. Fudge! Still don't have enough. Look how much time I have left now. Oh, no, no, we got it, we got it. Is this possible to do now? What? Oh, 
Oh. It might be possible if I get this timer. Ah! You put that there. This game has jokes. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Just get up there! Why are you struggling even if you're facing the correct direction? You shouldn't be struggling like that. Fuck, it always lands on you now. Well, I got it, but now I gotta... Okay, this is... No! No, 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 no. This is as good as it's gonna be. Wait, I don't have to worry about getting hit, because honestly, I have the door open. Oh my god, that was... That was close. Weird that you can only jump if you're facing against the slope. But it keeps sliding off right around here. It won't stay on it. There! Wow, indeed. Holy shit. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Alright, start over. You know what? I'll just take the death because I got the power up. Nope, won't take that one though. Christ almighty. You let go once, you're already fucked. Oops, I touched that. Yeah, I think it's like holding B is what you gotta do. Excuse me? That touched me. <sighs> of course it did, it's like goddamn boulders. I thought I was safe there. Oh, they're practically invincible. If you stay here most of the time, you're... At least you won't get hit by the foot. But look at all this shit I can't get now. Oh, that was a good one, too. Uh, is that a good idea to go down there and get them? Nope. Oh. Have to despawn them. Wait, I don't think I have enough still. Okay, now I do.
Okay, we're good. I don't think it's this way you gotta go. Ah! You know what? Fine, I'll, I'll take the hit. I think you gotta go up there. Fuck! You gotta do the stupid diagonal jumps all the goddamn time now. Here, I guess. Okay, I avoided that. Not that. Oh, oh. oh okay. I almost had the right idea. Just not the right execution for it. Okay, now I'm farther back. Fuck me! I'm almost done with this game. What? It's tough. It won't let me get up there now. Oh, I did it! I did it! Hmm. Now I need to do this! How do you make this jump? Oh, that's how. And then I messed up already. Ah! Oh. The worst part is, when I have to load the state, I have to make sure I'm still holding the direction as I'm hitting the button. Fuck! Oh, good thing I didn't save there. I was holding in the direction, and somehow you keep slipping anyway. Explain that to me. Why am I going so fast even when I'm not on the ground? Feels like the slopes have a gravitational pull. That's so strong even before you hit something. Why? I'm too worried I'm gonna fall to the other side. I know it's gonna happen. You piece of shit! I thought I was safe if I hugged the wall. Why? Just grab on! Oh, oh. Okay, save the... Duh. Oh, you have to be right at the edge, too. Like, you have to jump almost on frame zero. Almost on frame zero! How the... Fuck you do that! You already slipped off as soon as you land. It's too late before it starts. Oh, this is the worst so far. Cause you have to be so pixel precise. Why is there so much that needs pixel precision? 
Why? I just need to land on one platform that isn't sloped! And maybe I can get in there. Oh, I did it! Make sure you don't miss the door. Jesus Christ. We're on to the last level. Oh, we're in space now. So your goal is to defeat the foot. Now, here's the good news. Those asteroids, they always fall in the same place. I don't know if that foot gets all its health back if you leave it idle for too long. I really hope not, because that would be bad. Fuck off! Alright, restart it. Hmm, restart it again. Yeah, it's low gravity here, which makes it- OH MY GOD! It better not get all its health back if you leave it idle. Cause that just makes it even more unbearable to fight. Especially if you get hit even once, you're sent flying, so you have to wait. Fuck you! I finally did it. Had to turn on invincibility, because this game was just brutal. And I died anyway. How? I think you're supposed to jump into that? There. <sighs> what a miserable boss. Like, if you don't find the sweet spot right there, you can't beat it. Because if you let... Like, if you slow down... For even a second? Like, not even a full second. It's already too late. It gets all its health back. But there we go, Snakes in Space. We never got that game. Turns out the Mega Drive version did get a space level. Which is cool. I guess. But anyway, that's it! That's Snake, Rattle, and Roll for the NES. Had to resort to cheating just to get through the end of it because I kept taking too many dumb hits. I kept following the boss, doing as much damage as I could, but it keeps getting all its health back. Or those asteroids are always in the worst place. So, you have to avoid it, and then the boss gets its health back anyway. I just ran out of patience with that game, honestly. But, at least we got to see the end. Would I recommend it? Well, if you like a challenge, go right ahead. I think if you have, like, low patience like myself, a hug. Good luck. So anyway, this is the Bonga signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.